Hi, I'm Ian Cole, bringing you an IEQA Tech Tip on Carbon Dioxide and Ventilation, Part 1. Many indoor air quality consultants evaluate a building's outdoor ventilation using carbon dioxide. The idea goes something like this. If a building is underventilated, the carbon dioxide that people breathe out will build up. If a building is overventilated, the carbon dioxide will be quickly diluted as the concentrations will drop to near background levels. So you can see CO2 levels can be an indication of how well ventilated the space is. However, there are some limitations to this approach, so you should keep in mind the following three points. First, CO2 should be measured when the space is fully occupied. <laughs> Measuring low levels of CO2 in an empty auditorium doesn't mean it's well ventilated. Second, CO2 should be measured when outdoor air ventilation is at a minimum to establish a worst case scenario. For a commercial building, you should ideally take measurements when outdoor air economizers and variable air volume boxes are at minimum settings. Third, CO2 should be measured when the space has reached equilibrium. If you measure CO2 only five minutes after a large crowd enters an auditorium, the CO2 will be relatively low and you may assume the space is well ventilated. Over time, as people keep breathing out CO2, you'll see the level steadily increase until an equilibrium is reached. Equilibrium will only be reached if the occupancy in outdoor air ventilation is relatively constant, which isn't always the case. If you'd like to learn more about using carbon dioxide to approximate ventilation, consider taking the IAQA University class titled Assessing Ventilation and Pressurization. Visit the IAQA website for more information.